Oh, there, there's one right there, right there. Big one, big one. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was over 40, 100%. Oh, 100%. I think that was closer to 45. 45. You that unit, guys? Yeah. Hell yeah, me and my, me and my followers, right? Never heard of SG angling? What's wrong with that guy? We need time to pick this tree apart. There's definitely more than one fish in it. <laughs> I need to throw like, I need to throw it. Oh, oh, I saw that, I saw that. <laughs> All right, fine, you're right. We'll pick the tree apart. Oh, dude, he just, he literally I just missed. Well, we haven't had anything to, 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 to break the mold, yeah. So. Oh, look, look, look. Oh my God, there we go. That's a big fish. That's a, that is a nice musket. There we go. Broke the mold. That's a, it was so dark. That was a 40. We're almost. Well, we've gone all the way up the river to the point where it's too shallow. So now we're drifting back down. <clears throat> the bait that I've been using that has got raised, I think, three muskies so far uh, is the Savage Gear 4 play. And this is the gold pattern. Kind of looks like a golden shiner, maybe, or some sort of goldfish. And. Uh, Got incredible action in the water. So, in addition to this bait and Patrick's glider, we are having action, but no fish in the boat yet. Oh, here's one, here's one, here's one. Big, big fish. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nope, he's uh, definitely not going to hit. That's a big, big, big slow roller. Probably 43. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what are you I didn't think it was a monkey. Whack it. Whack it. It's not small. It's, it's not. It's a cat. Is it? He whacked it. You want me to net it? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what the frig? <laughs> Not the species of choice. <laughs> Here, you and your cat. Meow, meow. Take it. Just had the uh, first landed fish. We've had action from six muskies, a walleye, a smallmouth, and now the first landed fish. It's a nice all aggressive, extremely fierce <laughs> channel catfish. And he's going back. On the board. Hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was like quicksand. Oh, look. Oh, oh. what was that? <laughs> Sheep head. Are you kidding? <laughs> no joke. I saw it. <laughs> Everything but. Okay, day two. Starting out with the gold four play. We have golden shiners in this body of water. So, starting out with something uh, a little bit slower where we can go over the top of some old weeds. Let's make it happen. We should have gone to today. Crocs Chapel. We can go to the right now. It's 15 minutes away. Oh, musky. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Big, nice big, big fish. fish. Big fish. Nice fish. All right, yeah. We shouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whopper. That was a big one. Waypoint. No, no. I mean, we're closed. Didn't I tell you this is the spot on the spot? <laughs> yeah. No, okay. it's got two waypoints. Dude, they are here, and they're gonna turn on at some point. Let's go, baby. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I'm not saying never, never, but where is the? Oh, fish! Go, go. You're on the net. Oh, that's a good 
fish. And I yes. Not bad. Let's five go, to baby. four, dude. Five to four. Five to four. You're in the lead. Look oh, that look at thing. that. Look at that one. Look at that. Look at that. Look how he's got it T-boned. I love the, the commentary beforehand. <laughs> what, is this your first time ever handling a muskie? He's funky. He's a funky guy. He's a spunky fellow. <laughs> there you go. Perfect specimen. Look at him. Look at him. Just beautiful. Uh, all right, here we go. We're going 36 and a half. All right. There we go. goes so patrick uh walk me through that catch what you're using how you caught it well we're thinking the fish are kind of dug into the weeds a little bit sam here was raising a couple with uh twitch baits getting down gold so i wanted to get down in their face so i put on a hardtail raptor gold to imitate the golden shiners it gets a little bit deeper than the uh soft tail version so that's why i went with it boom 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 and i was just mentioning how i don't get a lot of follows on these baits it either I don't get action or they hit it. So that one hit it. <laughs> As you were saying it, 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 it hit it. It. <laughs> yep. it got hit. So beautiful looking fish, just a gorgeous, perfect specimen. So Patrick has an older fish finder here, but one of the things I find interesting about the tops of these weeds are uh, they're about two to two and a half feet below the surface of the water. And what I noticed about the two fish that I raised is that I had baits that got down a few feet and we're just ticking the tops of the weeds and then the idea was to kind of have the muskies come up and grab the bait so uh, that gives you a good picture of the weeds right there when Patrick threw on Raptor, Raptor uh, it got down in front of the fish's face and they t-boned it well with these recent rains it's flooded out a lot of the creeks rivers so we are fishing a lake today a lake that has both pike and muskie in it and the reason why is because i have my dad with me and we want to be able to have some action we get water temps about 49 50 right around there fishing some weeds and uh, we're hoping to put a few fish in the boat today this is a joe booker seven inch shallow raider was a big bait for me last year that caught us a nice 27 and a half inch pike and hopefully that's a part of a window here in this post lunch surge as we like to call it <coughs> When you initially cast that bait, <clears throat> rip it down a couple times to get it just to the top of the weeds and then just start twitching it. It's the kind of day where you're going to want to get the bait in their face a little bit. They're not really going to come up for it. There's one. one. Yep. It's fighting like a pike. <laughs> About the same size as the other one. It's hooked crazy again, so you'll probably want to net it. <coughs> A little bit smaller than the last one. Feistier little guy. Still not the right species, but not a bad fish. That's a very defined inside weed edge. <laughs> oh, got one. Got one. <sighs> this is a shorter, fatter pike. Look at this guy. Whoa. That's a nice one. He has hooked all three hooks. <laughs> you want the net? So. Uh, let's see. Be careful. You don't want a lure in your hand. Yeah. It's another one. Got a little belly on him. Not too bad. Nice bike. 
back for the musky. As the day concluded, we trolled our way back to the launch. Despite our efforts, my dad and I didn't end up catching any other fish that day. But without a doubt, I can say it was a successful spring. You certainly can't beat a muskie, a catfish, and a few aggressive pike. Thanks as always for tuning in to another episode of SG Angling, and we will see you soon for more great muskie content.